It is time for our weekly Mayor's Chat. Let's check in with St. Catharines Mayor Walter Zenzik, the morning after a historic council vote endorsing regionalized transit in Niagara. Good morning. Good to see you. Good to see you, Bob. So it this is a great, big, it's this a great is a, night. Yeah, great. And certainly a huge support for this. Uh, walk us through exactly what uh, steps are needed going forward. Now, the vote was 10 to 3 last night with council. Yeah, 10 to 3 last night, the, we're following on the footsteps of Fort Erie and Niagara Falls, both of whom voted unanimously to move forward. And now we have, uh, there's three with St. Catharines, there's 12 municipalities in Niagara. We need a majority of the 12 municipalities representing a majority of the population. And we've already got the support of regional council. So we're... We're going to wait anxiously for the remaining municipalities to cast their votes and we're hoping that what we'll see is the move towards a consolidated regional transit that we will have here in Niagara. Long yeah. overdue, Bob. Yeah, let's talk about the benefits on many fronts. I'm thinking of jobs, for example, and uh, making it easier to access employment. Yeah, we heard from a lot of delegations and we heard from the business community, we heard from the newcomers community, we heard from people who are representing those who are experiencing poverty in our community. And it's an economic opportunity for us to really tie together Niagara. It's a social equity decision that we made last night. It's an environmental decision. You know, Bob, when you look at Hamilton's transit model or Kitchener-Waterloo or, or the, the GTA, you really see how a regional transit system gets people out of their cars and making decisions that are better for them from an economic point of view and from an environmental point of view. So we're, we know we'll see those results moving forward, but we still have we still have some ways to go before we get there. Right. And with uh, Go Transit connectivity, I'm, I'm sure it's a huge boost to tourism as well. Anything that yeah, makes things easier. It's part of all that, Bob. So, in, you know, we've been getting more and more GO service to Niagara predicated on the business model of having a regionalized transit system. So, you know, we're doing our part here in the region. Metrolinx is doing its part. And again, when you look at the Hamilton model, you look at how integrated the, the Hamilton transit system is into the GO system. And it really just works to strengthen the overall economy of the Hamilton region. We expect to see the same results here in Niagara. And it's really going to be for the next generation and generations forward. They're going to see the benefits of the decisions that we're making today. And that's what I'm most proud of. Okay, so uh, explain to us, there, there's different models, financial model and service standards. A recent study says a majority uh, are in favor of the governance model. What exactly is that? So the governance model really is we have 15 transit commissioners and they're going to be elected officials from the, the regional council. And so there is some concern because people think that there's a loss of power in St. Catharines because we have our own transit commission. But the reality is, is we wanted to have a, com a commission that represents the Niagara community and St. Catharines is a part of that Niagara community. And so the governance model is reflective of where we want to go. There will be a review in three years of the commission model to make sure it's the right system, the right governance model. But I think these are the the right, these are the important steps to get to a truly integrated regional system like you see in Kitchener, Waterloo and Hamilton. Okay, uh, before we go now, I mentioned um, off the top, the vote was 10 to three last night. So let's yeah. talk about the three. Uh, is that part of the concerns or what else? Yeah, that's really the concern is the power structure. So, you know, certain councillors want to have power in St. Catharines and, and I'm not a big believer in just having power centralized for the sake of having power centralized. I, I think it's more about being able to influence a larger system. So, you know, I'm hoping that we'll be able to prove those who are, are concerned about this, that those those concerns are unwarranted moving forward. But hey, we're always we're not gonna have full consensus on everything but it was a pretty strong majority last night. Okay. Uh, by the way, last week you picked the Hamilton Tiger Cats over the Argos. What's your Grey Cup pick? And choose your answer Very <laughs> carefully. Okay, I'm, going, I'm, I'm going two for oh. Like, this is Tiger Cats. Ty, you got the fact that you got Arkells opening uh, in the halftime. There is no reason why Hamilton is going to lose this game. They've got everything going for it, and Oski, wee wee, Oski, wee wee all day long. Okay, good to see you. We'll chat again next week. Let's get to the Grey Cup and St. Catherine's <laughs> forecast.